All right, everybody, let's get this party started. We're going to do our cocktails and dreams. A neon sign here from the movie Cocktail, starring Tom Cruise. And Brian Brown and Elizabeth Shue. And, wow, I just pulled out three actors from that movie. I'd be reticent to know any other ones. doesn't matter. Um, it's a terrible movie. We're moving on. So we're going to create this thing. Uh, we're going to call it fine art or graphic art, either or. And we are going to work on something we haven't touched yet, with, which is over here, the Paths tab right there. And if your Paths tab is not up, you need to go to Windows. If you need to get into Photoshop, go to Windows and look up. Oh, that's right, this thing doesn't let me do that. Let's look up Paths right there and turn that thing on and click that and it should happen to populate um, right over here. And as you can see on this project, I have two paths already established. Let's go to our working project and we'll close this. All right, so I have given you a... Um, did I already stroke that? How did I manage that? Uh, dun, 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 dun. Well, I really went backwards in time. There we go. I give you a project that looks a lot like this. That was cool. Um, it is, let's take a look. It is 11 by 11 inches by 72 dots per inch. And it has got a gray layer here. And the reason I kept that gray layer there was, so when I do click on a path, you can kind of see it. Maybe I can zoom in a little bit. You can sort of see the path a little bit. Kind of, sort of. I thought it would make it easier for you to see. Um, regardless, um, we're going to stroke those paths. Now, I built these paths in Illustrator and then literally cut and pasted them over to Photoshop. And uh, you can, too. You can take all your paths from Illustrator and bring them across. All right, so as you can see on the Paths tab here, we have two paths. We have one called Words and one called Circle. And we are going to start on the Circle first. Um, now, in order to, uh, to do this, we're going to make this a blue circle, this broken up circle, real quick. That's going to be the first thing we make. And uh, we're going to use a paintbrush, this paths, and that's basically it, and a, and a few layers. And we're going to uh, build some neon tubes. Now, neon, when you're doing it, it's usually three layers. It's a base color layer, and that's usually where your inner and outer glow live. And then there's a specular highlight layer that goes over the top. That's usually white and we back the opacity down and then there's one final white line that's a genuine specular highlight that usually a neon tube catches and where the tube starts to round off at hundred percent based on where your eye is so we're gonna need three layers to do this alright and we're gonna stroke it with one brush so let's go to our layers tab over here that was crazy cool oh, I hate the zoom tool I gotta get rid of this thing alright so let's go over our layers tab over here and we are going to start a new layer on top of this gray one. So click new layer. And uh, one too many for some reason. Click new layer. And we're going to name that layer circle one. C-I-R-C-L-E one. All right. So we have one circle layer. And now we are going to set up a brush. Uh, so hit your B key. B. B for brush. And go, go up here. And let's pick a hard round brush. It doesn't let, let me do that. That sucks. Click this one right here. This under general brushes, there's the second one here. It says hard round, and change the size right here to what am I changing the size to? Let's change that size to 10. We're gonna have a 10 pixel brush. All right, and just click off. So it should say 10 right there underneath your brush. All right, and uh, if I were to paint with this brush right now, it would look like that. That's how wide a 10, a 10 pixel brush is. All right, so we have our 10 pixel brush set. Um, foreground color should be white. If it's not, hit D and then hit X. Hitting X alternates your colors, so your foreground color needs to be white. All right, so make sure white is your foreground color. All right, so we've staged our brush. We have our color. We have a layer we're going to put this on, circle one. Now let's start painting. Go back to your Pass tab over there, right? Click on that, and click on the one that says Circle. Okay, just highlight that one, and make sure that's active. It'll be light gray. And you can even see it in your drawing now over here, right there. You can sort of see it. You can barely see mine. All right, so with that done, if you right-click on it, you're going to get a little pop-up menu. If you right-click, and then right in the middle, there's one command there that says Stroke Path. And you can stroke a, uh, a path with anything um, any kind of brush. You can even erase a, 
on the stroke path. You can dodge and burn on a stroke, all sorts of stuff. But we're just going to stroke this path like this. So I'm going to hit stroke path, and you're going to get this little pop-up dialog box right here. Now, here's where you can pick what you want to stroke with. There's all sorts of tools. But in this case, we're going to just stroke with the brush, because we went through the trouble and set up a brush. And make sure this simulate pressure is not checked. It has to be off. All right. So when I hit OK, watch what happens. It's going to stroke those lines for me. All right. That's how stroking paths works. It's pretty basic stuff, really. Let's go back now to our layers. Uh, you're going to notice we're going to step and repeat. We're just going to do the same thing three times in a row, all right, on three different layers. So leave that circle selected. That's fine. Go back to your Layers tab over here, right? And we need a new layer above your Circle 1, and we're going to call that layer um, Circle 2, all right? We've got our layer. Let's go back to Brush, B. And we're going to change the width of our brush to 7 this time. So we're going to ch down to size 7, we're going down a few pixels, OK? And white is still our foreground color, which is fine. And I'm going to turn this, uh, I'm going to turn my first circle layer off so I don't have to see it. And go, all right, so we're going to put our, uh, our new stroke on circle 2. Let's go back to paths, all right? Right click on circle again, stroke the path, hit OK. And now it's stroked it again with our size 7 brush. Pretty simple stuff. One more time. Back to layers. Let's do a new layer on top of circle 2. We'll call this one circle 3. C-I-R-C-L-E 3. All right. I'm going to turn off circle 2 because I don't, so I don't have to see it. All right. So make sure circle 3 is selected. All right. Let's go back to our brush again. And we're going to make it size 4 now and click off the over here somewhere. So size 4, your brush should now be size 4. White is still our foreground color. That's fine. We have our layer 3 selected. That's awesome. Back to paths. Right click on circle one last time and stroke the path. Hit OK. And there's your size 3 stroke. All right. Perfect. Now you can you can click off of this if you want if you don't want to see the stroke. You just click somewhere. You can just click somewhere down in the gray over here. Back to layers, though. Let's go back to the Layers tab. All right, so now we have three layers. And if I turn them all on, you're going to see what happened. On Circle 1, it is stroked with a 10. Circle 2 is stroked with a 7-pixel brush. And Circle 3 is stroked with a 4-pixel brush. If you didn't do this right, you need to go back and start over again because everything we do is predicated on you having three neon layers, OK? All right, since we have three layers, um, it's going to be easier for us if we group them as a unit. So let's do that. So I'm going to hold down Shift and select all three, all three of my layers, my circle layers. And I'm going to hit Command-G, and that is going to put them in a group. You would think it would. Command-G, there it goes. And I'm going to name that group Circles. All right, there we go. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. You just created your first part. We're going to do the text next in the next part. Um, if you didn't get what we, what we got here, start over again. Talk to you soon.